Paramore are a band from Tennessee. Uh, they were formed uh, from some teens in 2004, and since then they've had a bit of a turbulent some in, some out, some people coming back kind of uh, existence. Um, their style is described as well, it's, uh, in some ways, the no fix style. Um, they've done pop punk, they've done emo, they've done alt rock, they've, they've kind of been fairly diverse. Uh, their front person is Hayley Williams, who's their singer and principal writer. Um, and they have so far created five albums, or released five albums. There's a, a six on the way, apparently. Hi, my name's Dan. So this is the sixth album by Paramore, and this is uh, one of my very occasional uh, videos that I'm going to do, which isn't a review of uh, one of the albums in my big long list of the 3,000 greatest, al uh, greatest albums of all time. This is a new release. Um, and in fact, it's so new, it was released yesterday as I record this. And in fact, I've listened to this album three times today. I've not had a lot old, so uh, it's been quite a pleasure to do so. So Paramore um, are a band that I discovered through doing this uh, set of reviews. Uh, I reviewed their album After Laughter, and I really enjoyed it. So I started to kind of follow them somewhat. And I've, I've, I've made this decision that there are occasional new releases that I am going to do reviews of, um, uh, particularly for people that I, I'm quite interested in what the album's going to be like. So um, that's how this has come up and how, why I'm doing this. Uh, so let's do try and do some uh, description, as I usually do. So it starts with several fast and upbeat. Um, I would generally call it pop-punk um, it's, a lot of people are describing it as post-punk. Uh, one of the critics, so I did read some stuff about what some critics have said about the album. One of them had mentioned math rock, um, and that might be uh, um, a kind of... It's not really a very open world to me. I'm, I'm not hugely uh, knowledgeable about it. Uh, but it has this kind of um, precision to it in terms of the... Uh, the music and the sounds that are being used are a little bit like um, uh, that sort of thing. It reminded me of another band whose name I've forgotten, so I'm just going to move on. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, uh, and after the the fast upbeat songs, mostly then it's uh, the last few songs on the album are uh, more kind of measured, uh, more rock ballady songs. So it's kind of almost in two halves. It's not quite. It kind of eases from one to the other. There is a, another faster one amongst the amongst the slower ones. Um, and uh, I've thought this about uh, Param Paramore's last album is that it reminded me of. Uh, but is different to both Blondie and No Doubt in the sense of being kind of new wave slash um, pop punk fronted by a female voice. Um, it's really uh, well crafted. I found it really infectious, especially the uh, the uh, the faster songs at the start. I really enjoyed those. Uh, it's uh, it's it, it's fairly complex musically at times and interesting i found it musically interesting uh hayley williams is a singer she's uh, a pretty good singer i would say she's very expressive it's really nicely recorded and, and put together in that aspect but she's quite uh good at getting different feels and the different songs and um uh, and you know carrying across what she's singing about so uh so i like it vocally i like it musically and i like it lyrically so this is the thing that is for me is setting Paramore above other uh, bands of kind of s similar feel in terms of music. I mean, they're, they're slightly different from anybody else, I think. But um, <clears throat> but so that uh, yeah, this, this added aspect is the fact that the lyrics are really interesting, um, and they're not just uh, bubble pop songs about nothing really in particular. Uh, so the title track, uh, this is why, is I gathering pretty much about agoraphobia um, and possibly linked to um, COVID and lockdown. Um, and the rest of the songs, there's uh, a certain level of introspectiveness, a certain level of social commentary. It's definitely got different angles at time. Uh, there's a song about uh, somebody who's perpetually late, which I really like, which is called Running Out of Time. 
Um, and it's just nicely observed. Uh, so the whole package together is, it's got, it's strong lyrically, it's strong musically, it's strong vocally, it's strong in, in production. So it just works really well as an album. So I, I think this is a good album. I think this time is going to tell because we're only just out with this album, but I think they've, Hipped the previous album with this just slightly. It's I think it's pulling ahead just a little bit. So I really like it. That's obvious. You can pick that up. I'd love to know what your first impressions are of the album. So please uh, talk to me through the comments box. That's it from me for now. Said I was gonna take some flowers to my neighbor, but I ran out of time. Didn't wanna show up to the party empty-handed, but I. Ran out of time. Said I was the.